Okay, in this video, Emily Peterson, LPGA Tour player, also Ladies European Tour player from Denmark. Played great today, day in a tournament. Really hitting long drives, good putting, just a great day. This shot here, approach shot. Really vertical swing, kind of uncharacteristic for today's player. Takes it super vertical up there. Almost the Justin Thomas height of a backswing. Not as good at wrist position here. Club face much more open than a lot of players. And then as it comes down, shallows nicely. And she starts to clear. And definitely releases it a little bit early on some of these shots, which gets her into trouble. She does get some shots that flip at the bottom. She hits them to the left. This is planing out beautifully. It's just more a case of where is the handle relative to the club head. This one here, if it casts a little bit too early, she can get the shots going left, which this one did. But once again, she's a very good iron player normally and hits a ton of greens. From this angle, we can see a good strong grip position, great posture, very strong looking athlete. You can tell just genetically very strong. I'm sure she works out a lot too, but also very genetically strong. There's that vertical position, left wrist. Like I said, a little suspect with the cupping there. Club face more open. And she kind of slides forward. Try to drop it in. The, the more you slide to the left, the more you're going to cast. So when she does do three-quarter type swings where she holds that face off and rotates the trunk and controls the face with that trunk rotation, like this one here, she's quite effective, and I'm sure that's Probably one of her go-to shots, especially being a European player, playing in worse conditions. So here's a nice middle iron shot. It says 195 to the flag, so probably a 5 iron, something like that, 6 iron, depending on where the wind is. Has a little raise-up move that she's sort of known for. She kind of drifts upward off the ball and then swings super vertical. Toe much more down than a lot of players. It'll slide forward. Like I said, it's really a point of catch up at this point through the bottom of the arc, depending on how that's releasing, when it's releasing. Which, when it's more under control with an iron, you're more likely to have it that flip sort of figured out. But you get that flip going with the driver, and that can be the rights and lefts for sure. This shot, a beauty. Another one into the wind, right under the wind. Takes it out right and lets the slope just bring it right back down. Another great angle to see that three-quarter action. Up high, little slide to the left. She's rotating, but not as much as other players. You can see that left knee kind of stalls out. It doesn't really get going as early as a lot of players. Once again, she's keeping that wrist firm as she can through impact. Rotating that upper body to try to chase through, which helps you to control the rotation of the forearms. So they don't flip too hard. And there's that, like I said, three-quarter finish knockdown style. And another beautiful shot. And mentioning that her putting stats don't look very good. A lot of times she's putting from 10 to 15 feet all day. So, I mean, she's going to make a lot of birdies hitting that many greens. And I'm sure a lot of days putting from a short distance. This one here, you can just see it's a short backswing. It sort of chases it through there. And she already knew that she had closed that club face and got it to the left. So a lot of times you'll see better putters, the putter swinging back farther, coming through a little shorter, which imparts better energy on the ball. And that, well, that way the handle's moving more this way instead of trying to fling the club head under the hands, which is what you see there. Gets a bad strike on it, closes the club face. Those putts usually end up going this way. Okay, last swing, we'll look at a driver. Little open shoulders, closed feet. Can't tell exactly from this angle, but it's certainly how it looks. Up the plane beautifully on the backswing. Definitely gets longer with the driver. Starts to tip over, and some of these swings are really, really long at the top. And then when she does that and then slides, I'm sure it gets steeper and out of position. This one here is shallowing pretty good. I like the forearm trying to get along that plane line. But once again, that look there is usually the look of a player sliding forward with the hips. Everything else trying to match up and time out. And some days you can time it up, sometimes, sometimes you can't. But as long as she hits it, I mean, she's going to have so many short irons to the greens that most of the time it's just not going to matter. 
Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time to the channel, or you've not subscribed yet, please do. We're gaining on 3,000 subscribers. Hope you can help me get over that hump soon. If you like the video, please hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video.